Hey everybody, my name is Matthew Sambanis. I'm a certified public accountant. My firm is based in Long Island, New York. And in today's video, we are gonna discuss Joe Biden's latest and greatest idea, which is to raise taxes. And of course, we know that it's only gonna be on the rich, and we all know how that goes. Um, but before we dive into the article that I was reading it from, which has been, you know, he was made it publicly available, um, I'd also like to comment on a few other points. So first and foremost, which we've all experienced in the last few years, is inflation. And inflation is a tax, except the government can blame it on anybody but themselves, uh, which is what they're responsible for. And the definition of inflation is the printing of money. And the only people or the only entity that can print money is the government. And therefore, when they print money, when they use the Federal Reserve to print money and they do quantitative easing, and uh, all sorts of other things of that nature, that is inflation and that is a tax. And they blame it on corporations, they do this, they do that, but ultimately they're responsible. And so everybody's experienced, in my opinion, at least a 20 to 25% tax in the last three years for pretty much every year, <laughs> right? Um, so that's part one. Part two is Right now, if you watch the news, they all say Bidenomics is a boom, right? Everything is booming. And uh, if this is a boom, imagine what a bust is going to look like. I mean, how incredibly bad is it going to be? It's scary to even ponder that, um, except I am because we have to be realists and that's what we do. So, of course, you know, he claims that People earning less than $400,000 are not going to be affected. Uh, my question is, is that for single people or is that for joint people, right? If you have two people earning $200,000 each, that's $400,000. So is it married filing couples or is it, you know, just individuals making $400,000 or more? But it doesn't matter because there's not enough money there. They can only take, you know, so much money. Um, you can only bleed a stone for so much. And when you are earning a good amount of money, there are ways, especially if you're self-employed or if you have your own business, to legally avoid paying taxes. And, you know, the other part is if you're a big shareholder in a company, so for example, Amazon, Jeff Bezos, I'm sure what he's done, Elon Musk, all these wealthy billionaires, and I'm sure all these wealthy multi-multi-millionaires, let's say they own whatever, $200 billion worth of Amazon stock, all they have to do is go to the bank and say, hey, I need a $20 billion loan and I'll pay it back over 20 years and you can use my $200 billion of Amazon, $200 billion of Amazon stock as collateral and you're going to get paid back. And what's, what's a loan? A loan is not taxable, <laughs> right? So that's just one super easy way for the rich not to pay taxes, just go get a loan and pay it back over 20 years. Um, you know, it's absurd. So anyway, some of his ideas are to raise corporate tax rates, raise foreign corporate tax rates, meaning when Microsoft sets up a corporation in Ireland, the minimum tax is about 10%. Uh, they want to raise that to 21%. In some instances, they're not subject to tax at all, which again, if you're a corporation, why would you want to give the government money, right? What do they do with that money? Uh, well, A, if you're a multi-billionaire elitist, do you want your money going to welfare? No, of course you don't. Do you want your money going to the Korea Ukraine? Probably not. So do you want to be paying Nancy Pelosi's two $300,000 a year salary and, you know, a uh, retirement plan? No, you, you you probably don't. Why would you? And listen, even if you're earning $50,000 a year, do you want your taxes paying for that? No, you don't. So are taxes good? No, in my opinion. Do they serve a necessity? Yes. Do we need to have such a huge government like we do? Definitely not. Um, he also wants to raise long-term capital gain rates to the ordinary rate. That'll never happen. All of his billionaire friends on Wall Street will never allow it. They bribe him way too much. Uh, they bribe the left and the right, by the way. So whether it's Democrats or Republicans, they're all just as guilty as keeping the fat cats on Wall Street's fat and wealthy. Um, and then he wants to raise the income tax rate on high earners or, so, you know, raise the FICA limit, um, which they've done substantially in the last few years. So this is how you extort people. And ultimately, you know, in the beginning, uh, when we first had World War II, that's when they enacted the payroll tax. And it was started out, you know, as a very nominal amount. It was only supposed to be on the rich. And then people felt they had patriotic duties. 
And so the government started doing it to the payroll and on and on, and it built up. And, you know, now everybody pays a ton of taxes. How about we get into some solutions? How about the government uses some common sense? Instead of raising rates, what else can the government do? They can cut the government, right? They can cut foreign spending, stop sending money to the Ukraine. Not that I'm a proponent for it or not that I'm against it. I'm just making a flat out statement. Why have we been spending, sending hundreds of billion dollars abroad when we have people here literally starving? We have people taking out two, three jobs, taking out two, three credit cards that they're maxing out because they can't afford their own bills. And the government's just taxing everybody to death. It's it's wrong. Um, and, you know, as I've pointed out, you know, you can also cut government jobs, cut government programs. You know, unfortunately, they're going to need to get, you know, cut. Social security is going to be broke. They're saying in 2034, government tends to uh, underestimate everything. So if they're saying 2034, I'd probably say 2030. Excuse me. Sorry about that. So anyway, as the article goes on, and I apologize, normally I'm a little more on a positive note, but this is just depressing to me. Um, It's absolutely psychotic. But if you do like economics, finance, making money, investments, the stock market, gold, silver, high tech stocks, um, please like, comment, subscribe and share. All right. So Biden is set to raise taxes to help fund Social Security benefits as the president desperately tries to make up ground in Poland against Trump ahead of the general election. So I don't want to get into politics. If you do, please leave some comments below. I would greatly appreciate it. If you feel I'm missing anything, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, But the bottom line is, how is raising taxes during a standoff against your opponent going to benefit you? Well, uh, I guess the middle class will feel that you're more for them if you're saying you're going to go after the rich, except we know you're not. And even if you do, again, they're going to avoid it or they're going to stop working. Uh, or they're going to just raise rates, right? <laughs> when you're when you own a business, when you're a Walmart and they the government raises your taxes, what do you do? You you pass it along to the customer. And so you still end up paying more in taxes, but you still end up making more, which we've seen substantially since COVID hit. The government did nothing but print money. Um and, you know, pretty much the rich get richer. Uh, there's no other way around it. So some other ideas that he has is capping some uh, prescription drugs and eliminating hidden junk fees. So again, if the FDA wasn't so absurd, which is a government entity and didn't have such high entry costs into making drugs, they wouldn't be so expensive. And eliminating hidden junk fees, then, okay, fine, eliminate junk fees, but then there's just going to be a flat out fee anyway that you're going to pay. So anyway, President Joe Biden's camp has examined strategies to make up for lost ground in the upcoming presidential election, raising taxes on the wealthy to bolster Social Security is on the table. Uh, Again, he's not even going to do that. He's not going to raise it. You know, he's had three years now to raise taxes and he hasn't done so. And pretty much, you know, a a recent poll around half of the voters likely said Biden's policies would make them worse off financially. (laughs) Uh, I, 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 you know, I mean, this is coming from the Daily Mail. um, And, you know, most of these polls are done by liberal establishments with all due respect. And yeah, I mean, look at Biden's policies. You know, Bidenomics is absolutely terrible. Joe Biden doesn't know what planet he's on. He doesn't know he's the president. Every day he gets woken up and somebody probably has to say, Mr. Biden, you're president because he has no idea what planet he's on. No less that he's president. Um, You know, and he's fighting to keep building an economy centered on the middle class, not rich special interests. Well, um, He's clearly done the opposite of that. Middle class is absolutely crushed. It's been eviscerated. Inflation has absolutely crushed them. I can't emphasize that enough. I feel like a broken record. I really don't even want to, you know, recite it anymore or say it anymore. Um, lowering drug costs, you know, how about lowering health insurance, right? My, my health insurance has gone up through the roof. You know, two years ago, it was 600 a month. Now it's, you know, 800 a month. My deductible, which used to be 1,000, is now 2,000. Um, you know, why don't you do that? Or why don't you get rid of the government involvement in insurance altogether so it can go back to a normal ground? People can have the option of having health insurance or not. 
and stop handing out free health insurance to people who aren't citizens in the country. And I say that with all due respect. I know it's a sensitive issue. But again, you have to take care of your own people first before you can take care of other people. And our people are hurting. So anyway, opponents on the other side of the aisle continue to clash over tax policy with Biden reaffirming his decision, dedication to the middle class. Of course, he's not. Um, You know, the middle class is just been getting crushed and you know Donald Trump did also have huge tax cuts and what happened again the rich got richer and then COVID hit and he printed a massive amount of money which was inflation and he Donald Trump got off lucky because all this inflation that we've been experiencing not all of it but a lot of it is a result of him Um, It's also a result of the Federal Reserve keeping interest rates artificially low for 20 plus years, doing quantitative easing since 2008 and printing huge amounts of money. So everybody shares the blame, but nobody wants to take it. Um, Corporate price gouging. Again, a corporation's job is to make money, right? My job, in my opinion, is to legally, morally, and ethically make as much money as humanly possible. All right, I prepare tax returns. Uh, there, It's on a case-by-case basis. If I could charge $100,000 for a tax return, I would absolutely do it. Can I? No. Am I Ernst & Young? No. Do they probably charge $100,000 for tax returns? Absolutely. Do they charge hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars for their audit services? Absolutely. I'm a small shop. You know, it's myself. We have four other employees. And, you know, we're limited, you know, some clients, you know, it's on a case by case basis. But at the end of the day, my corporation's job is to make me as much money as legally and morally and ethically as possible. And you can only do that so much, right? Because if you're being greedy, if you're gouging everybody, then what's going to happen? They're going to go somewhere else, right? Somebody else is always willing to undercharge to beat you out and to take your business and to put you out of business. That's what the Home Depot did when they first got into business, right? They just wanted to move in, put their competitors out of business. So everybody had to go there. They provided a better product. They provided a better service and they provided better prices and they provided everything that you could humanly need. And that's how they managed to rock and roll and do as great as they're doing. Lowe's, you know, same thing as well. Now on the flip side, if Home Depot is overcharging you and Lowe's is undercharging you. Who are you going to go to? You're going to go to Lowe's, right? Yeah, absolutely. Do they probably have the same suppliers? Yes. So can they, you know, charge you so much? Yes. And are they, you know, limited to what they can charge you as well? Yeah. So do we need to raise taxes? Yes, we have a huge deficit. Do we need to cut the government? Yes, we have a huge deficit. What's the right way of going about it? In my opinion, cut in taxes. Um, there's two things that are certain, death and taxes, obviously, right? <laughs> um, I'm grateful that I picked an industry that has one of those two certainties, which is preparing taxes and accounting and financial statements and other things of that nature. Um, but, you know, again, if Joe Biden, quote, starts raising taxes on the rich, that's also coming for you. I can tell you I pay a lot of taxes. It's absolutely egregious. And, you know, uh, that's doing it legally. And have I explored and am I continuing to explore legal ways to minimize my tax bill to keep as much money as humanly possible? So I'm not working for four or five months out of the year for the government. Absolutely. Is that my right? Absolutely. Is that your right? If you can do it, yes. So if you found this helpful, please leave a comment, like, share, and I hope you have a great rest of the day. And thanks.